Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 26. Social Norms in Canada. The following dialogue is related to Unit 1, Overview of Canada from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following unit of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 1.14 Things People Do in Canada In this dialogue, Sadia and Obasi discuss social norms and common behaviors in Canada, such as smiling at or greeting strangers on the street, making eye contact, littering, and kissing in public. Hey! I am sorry I am late. That is okay. I was a little late myself. I am glad we finally met up. I know. Both of us have been so busy. How are you adjusting to life here in Canada? To tell you the truth, I am happy to be here. But things have not been easy. I see. What has been going on? Well... People here act in ways that are very different from how I or people I know act. Ah, I know what you mean. It took me a while to get used to some things that people in Canada do. For example, here it is common to smile at or greet strangers. But where I am from, that would be considered quite strange. Yes, I thought I would not interact with that many people during my first few weeks here. But to my surprise, many strangers greeted me everywhere I go. I've been able to practice saying hello in English and French more than I expected. You are right. <laughs> Another difference that I did not notice until my language teacher pointed out was that I was not making eye contact when I spoke to her. In my culture, it is a sign of respect to not look at the person directly. But she explained that people here look each other in the eye to show that they are paying attention and are interested in what the other person is saying. Not doing so could be understood to mean that I am afraid of a person or not telling the truth. Really? I had not thought about that. Some things that people do are familiar to me like lining up to get on the bus. But other things, like breastfeeding in public, are totally new to me. I guess I had forgotten about that since I've been here for quite some time now and I have gotten used to those things. I do remember when I first arrived that I was surprised to see two people romantically kissing in public, including two women. Yes. It is very rare to see people do that where I am from. But now, I do not notice it as much when it happens, because I got used to it. Yes, it is so strange how some things can be so normal here, but would be totally unacceptable where I come from. I also get worried I will do something that is acceptable where I come from, but is not acceptable here. Well, some things are likely the same, while others are very different. For example, there was an interesting mix of people in Canada. I can see a person wearing shorts in a sleeveless shirt, and then I turn my head and see another person wearing religious clothing and symbols. Where I am from, it would be strange to see those people in the same place. But there are also things that are similar to where I am from. Spitting in public, coughing or sneezing without covering our mouths, or urinating in public are not so acceptable here either. You know what happened to me the other day? I was walking down the street and I dropped some garbage on the ground. A person saw, picked it up, and ran after me to give it back to me, thinking I had dropped it accidentally. I guess littering is not acceptable here. <laughs> Yes, you are right about that. 
Sometimes it is hard to know what is acceptable and what is not. For example, people often use underarm deodorant, which is okay. But then wearing too much strong cologne or perfume is not okay in many places. It takes time to learn about these things. And most people need time to adjust, including me. I'm so glad we could talk about this. I was starting to feel confused, frustrated, and a bit alone. Thanks for helping me understand that I'm not alone in feeling this way. It really takes time to adjust to a place where people behave differently. End of Dialogue Unit